Hello everyone, this is another episode of Ask Dr. Bob and thank you for joining me today and passing this information on. The very first question an individual wants to know about having the ingredients for a thicker beard, they mentioned biotin and I know that biotin has been shown to help improve hair growth, but a couple other thoughts when it comes to the beard. Some of it can be genetic. I know that genetically I have very limited facial hair. I know that hair has a lot to do with the minerals inside of a person's body and so does oil. If you're under a lot of stress, your body will cannibalize minerals, so you really probably won't have as much available to the beard itself and or for other hair. Trans fat can interrupt hair production in the body, so those are just some of the thoughts. Minerals would be very important. We had a very interesting question in reference to bee pollen and bee allergies and bee sensitivities due to the sting. Um, a bee allergy is probably more of a histamine reaction where bee pollen, because they're questioning if bee pollen would help the bee allergy. Bee pollen basically comes from plants. And I'm not saying that it might not help you with maybe some seasonal allergies, but not necessarily from a bee sting sensitivity. So I want you to be aware of that. Dr. Bob, can you help a condition called SCA12? And this happens to be a disorder that impacts the brain and it impacts muscles. And you know, I wish I could give you an answer that yes, if we did this, that, and the other, it will make a difference. You want to find a skilled chiropractor in your area. Uh, what we do in our practice, and I'm sitting in the room where we take video spinal films, you want to see how the person's spine is functioning. You know, a lot of times, we have seen individuals with a lot of really unusual health challenges improve with appropriate spinal function. You know, you may consider an essential fatty acid blood spot test, you know, and even check for parasites. We're seeing a lot of issues today with individuals that have parasite infestation. It's a great question, and I wish I could give you a little bit more for that. Dr. Bob, thank you for all the information on thyroid. I've lowered my dose of levothyroxine to 50 uh, micrograms from 75, and you're still taking iodine and flax um, daily, and you want to be drug free. Well, for me to give you a strategy for thyroid function, I really would need to know your T4, which is basically inactive thyroid, your T3, and your TSH levels. Those are really important to us. So can, we can create a strategy because everybody's different when it comes to thyroid function. And some individuals have um, brain drain. Their um, pituitary gland is not secreting TSH. It has a lot to do with stress. So I have to congratulate you on your road and on your strategy. But you may consider looking at Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones and looking for more information. You may even consider having those blood tests done. You want flax oil. You may need some L-tyrosine. Are you taking the right iodine? Some excellent um, concepts. I know that you mentioned that you're still constipated. Yes, thyroid has a lot to do with that, but so does lack of magnesium. Thank you for the wonderful questions. Um, look forward to making a difference in your life. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, The Drugless Doctor.